Hi everyone, this is Andy Clark here to give you a brief demo of the Certified Mobile app. Alright, so what you see here is the App Store. I've searched for Certify, and you'll see that the first option that comes up is Certify Mobile. You can download that for free here in the App Store. I've already downloaded it, so I don't need to do so now. Um, but just to show you what it looks like when you search for it in the App Store. And then to get into the app, you click on the app as you normally would. That will take you to a login screen. This is what you'll initially see is the Certify Login. We are actually not going to be using the Certify Login page. You're going to come down here to Use My Company Login. You'll see that down at the bottom. All right. Company code is CRM, all caps. So we'll type that in here. And then you'll click Get Access Token. That's going to take you to a login page for your CRM email account. So I'm going to enter in my CRM email address and password and hit the sign in button. That's going to send a verification code to your phone. Looks like mine is 382726. Enter that in, press done, and that's going to automatically grab your access token for you. A key thing for you to note is you'll see the save token item there. By default it's listed as no. You're going to want to change that to yes. What's that, what that's going to do is it's going to remember your access token and remember all of your login information for you for the next time you want to get to the Certify app. So once you've done all that, once you've, once you've gone through that process, you hit the login button. It may take you to this screen, which is just syncing the account, making sure it's all up to date. It doesn't do this every time. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't and took us into the Certify app. This is the home screen of the Certify app. It's what you'll see when you log in every time. The first thing to point your attention to is the yellow boxes at the top that say Add Receipt and Add Expense. Those are the two items that you're going to be using the most often. And when you make a purchase somewhere and you have a receipt and you want to add that into Certify, all you need to do is come into the app, click on the Add Receipt button, that's going to take you to this screen where you are able to select what resolution you would like of the photo of your receipt. We recommend that you just go ahead and select high. Then that pulls up your camera on your phone. And from there you can take a picture of the receipt that you have. Click use photo. And that'll take you to this screen where you can enter in the details regarding that expense. You'll see there's a yellow autofill button here. What that is is the app will read the picture of your receipt that you have taken and will pull from that any information that it can and will automatically fill that into some of the fields. The app doesn't always capture every piece of information. Sometimes it captures some, sometimes it doesn't. But one great thing about the app is that it learns how to read your receipts over time. So if you have certain receipts that you commonly are expensing, Say you have a Starbucks receipt that you're commonly expensing. The app over time will learn how to read a Starbucks receipt and will automatically fill some of that information in for you. So that's a great feature. So we're going to go ahead and click autofill and we'll see what it comes up with. It looks like it pulled the date and it looks like it was able to identify that this was a restaurant purchase. So it did change the category to meals or entertainment with staff. But it looks like the rest of the information we'll have to fill out ourselves. See the amount was 47.80 fund an important thing to know for fund is if this is a personal ministry expense you won't be typing in your personal fund number or your name or anything like that all you'll type in is personal ministry expense so you don't even have to type in that whole thing you can type in per or person hit the search button and personal ministry expenses option will come up for you the finance team will see that you've selected personal ministry expenses and they'll know to charge that to your fund. Next item is vendor, so we'll type that in. Location was Anaheim. Attendees, we'll just say me and John Doe. And reason, we'll say lunch, work, meeting. Reason is just the ministry purpose. Okay, once you've got everything filled out there, you'll hit the save button. And what you can see here is we're taken back to the home page, and you'll see in the Receipts to Sync field at the top, you'll see there's a little one next to there. And that signifies that you've added a receipt in the app here in Certify, but you need to go through one more step in the process that will get that receipt actually into your account in Certify. And that last step is to hit the Sync button in the top left-hand corner. So I'll go ahead and do that now. It's usually pretty fast. Sometimes it can take a little bit longer depending on how many receipts you're uploading at one time. And there we are. So it looks like the sync is complete. And you'll see in the Receipts to Sync 
field, it's now zero. You've already synced all the receipts that you need to into Certify. And basically what that did is it moved it into the box that's called Receipts in Certify. I already had four receipts in there, so I just added one more, so it's now five receipts. Now if you have any expenses that are under $75 or expenses that you don't have a receipt for, you can click up here on the Add Expense button and that will take you through the exact process as adding a receipt except for the step of taking a picture of the receipt. It'll allow you to enter in all the expense report information that you need, save the expense, and then it'll go into the Expenses to Sync box here. You'll click Sync and that will take the expense into your Certify account. Now what we recommend doing at this point is logging into the web version of Certify. It's a little bit easier to create expense reports. When you log into the web version of Certify, you'll see any receipts or expenses that you've synced sitting there in your Certify wallet. And you can also create expense reports if you would like here on the app itself. And the way to do that is to click on the Auto Expense Report button here, and that will take you through the process of creating and submitting an expense report. That's it for now. We'll leave it at that. If you have any questions about the app or certify or submitting ministry expenses, just shoot your questions over to stafffinances at crmleaders.org. That'll get to the finance team and they'll be happy to help you out. All right. Thanks so much for watching.